The Dodgers and Mets game is as close as a game can get. Four to four, top nine, runner on first and one out, and Trey Turner's up trying to make a good impression with his new team. Make something happen. The pitch is going to come. It's inside and a weird ricochet, and what happened? Turner's just circling around like, all right, is the ump going to say hit by pitch? Do I play this cool? Do I be honest about it? Let's play it cool. See what happens. Everybody's like, whoa, whoa, he's just playing it cool, Blue. Don't get fooled. Mets manager says, yeah, we're going to need you to go take a look at that, throw them headphones on, talk to New York. And they say, okay, we will. If you want us to, it's our job. Then, bam, foul ball did not hit his arm. Trey Turner, when they went to review, instead of hanging out on first base, he just went back back to the on-deck circle with his bat in his hand. He knew it didn't hit him. He knew. They go, okay, actually, that didn't hit you, and it hit the bat, so it's an 0-1 count. So tough break, but a little flinch of the shoulder and everyone says, that's a balk, that's a balk, that's a balk, a balk, balk, you're on second. Watch this, ever so slight, little little twitch, little twitch, a balk. So McKinney goes to second, now Turner's got the go-ahead run in scoring position, that's a ball low, that's right in the zone, and that's a nice slider to freeze him, Turner didn't like it. As he walks away, you see a little green on his face, bam. Right there, so laser pointer person was out and about for the Turner at bat. They got him right in the face as he's walking away. No one really noticed this one, though. Now Max Muncy comes up. He's got a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. He's having an amazing season. Max Muncy's pretty good. He takes that for a strike, another little slide piece. Then he goes slider again, and Muncy fouls it off, and he picks up the ball and says, hey, what's up? What are you all about? And Diaz gets a new ball. And then when he's waiting for the pitch to come, A laser pointer just comes all over him. Hits him in the shoulder, the stomach, the face. Not good. They got that freeze frame. That's pretty scary. And then he's trying to point it out. And I think it's this right there. You see that light right there. And then you see it come again on the side of the screen. So Muncy's trying to point it out. See, he's pointing it out. And at first I thought it was coming from the outfield. But then the direction that both came in, coming from over here and there it is i well i don't know if that's not a green laser pointer i don't know what it is seems like that's it right there and there might be two because another one pops up right here or it could be someone just dodging around you got the first one right there and you can see this these hands kind of finagling with it right there and then it's going to go off, and then it's going to come back around over here unless there's two. I don't know. Green laser pointers. I researched them. They're like 8 bucks on Amazon. So Muncie's like, hey, got a little pointer. Pointing right in my face. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. I'm just like, what? They're they're pointing at you. He's like, yeah, it's right in my face. Pretty dangerous. Hey, guys, don't bring laser pointers to games. Seems like an easy thing to not do. Umps get together and say, hey, he says they got a laser pointer point on his face. You guys see any laser pointers? And they're like, nah, dude, I wasn't focusing on that, but maybe I will now. The camera crew is showing left field and the outfield, but I think it's way closer than that. I think it's the the light I found, unless that light is some other light, but I don't know. I, seems like the light that is there is that. And Edwin D is like, yeah, they got a laser pointer at his face. And I don't even know. I, had, I don't think they got the guy in trouble. I don't know how they resume play because it seems like it could just happen again. They're just on higher alert now. Laser pointer person didn't have a lot of time to use it again in this inning, though, because Edwin Diaz strikes him out with the pitch below the zone. Woo-hoo-hoo, pumped up. Mets end up losing this game, but John Boy Media has a new Mets podcast on the network. It's Shea Station, hosted by Jolly Olive and 13-year big leaguer Jerry Blevins. Go check it out if you're a Mets fan. It's good. It's great. It's fabulous.